Hello world, Becca here from Inside the Square coming at you with another CSS tutorial. Today, I'd like to show you how you can use CSS to crop an image into a perfect circle. Sounds pretty cool, right? It's actually really darn easy. Now this is a quick video, but I've got three points to cover. The first is a quick code breakdown so you understand how it works. Then I'll show you how to install the code, and then I'll teach you how to isolate by naming the image type. All right, for the code breakdown, let's get right into it. What we're doing is identifying the specific image. So for this code, we'll use .sqs-block-image, but this part's the most important. We've got to use the text IMG before the first bracket, okay? Now this isolates the individual image. After we've added that text, we can play around with the border radius. For an image that's already cropped into a perfect square or a one-to-one -one ratio, a border radius of 50% turns that into a perfect circle. So let's go ahead and see what that looks like. I have a few square images here on my website. These are standard image types. Then I have poster, collage, overlap, and inline. So let's take a look at all of these, shall we? To install the CSS code on my entire website, I'm going to select Design and then Custom CSS. Now I'll paste that code that's beneath the video here, and we'll see all of the images have now been cropped into perfect circles. Pretty cool, right? Now let's talk about how to isolate these by naming the image type. Let's say you didn't want every single image type to be a perfect circle, maybe just collage images. How about we start there? For that, we need to actually isolate the image name in between that first text of SQS block image and that last set of those three letters, IMG. I'm gonna paste the code design-layout-collage, and we'll see here the collage image is now a perfect circle, and everything else has stayed the same. Pretty cool, right? Now let's say uh, we just want this to apply to an inline image. Again, we just change the text here, SQS block image, design layout inline, and then IMG. And now you can see the inline image is now isolated and everything else stays the same. Pretty awesome, isn't it? Now, if you'd like a complete list of all of the different image name types, I actually have that in my CSS cheat sheet. I think it's in section nine. We'll scroll down here. Nope, oh, that's image textile. Da, da, da. There it is. So I have a complete image name index for all the different types, including product images in the CSS cheat sheet. So to grab your copy of that, head on over to insidethesquare.co slash CSS. Oh, and most important part, when you're all done, select save so the code will apply to your entire website. All right, that's it for today's tutorial. Thanks for watching and have fun with your Squarespace website. If you liked this tutorial, you'll love my CSS. Download it now at insidethesquare.co slash CSS.